Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, last year, I, I showed how to install a service called AdGuard Home to help block ads at the DNS level uh, on all of the devices across your network. And, and during that video, we talked about how it's a good idea to have two uh, instances of AdGuard Home for redundancy and that sort of thing. Uh, one of the issues when you've got two versions or, or two AdGuard setups running is that whatever you do to one of them in order to make it work properly, you need to do to the other one. And that can get tedious after a while. So what I want to show you how to do in this video is actually set up another Docker container that will actually synchronize multiple instances of AdGuard Home. YourCDKey.com is a great place to get Windows 10 keys at incredibly low prices. So here we are on the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro page, and right here you can see the current price is $20.05. But if you use the coupon code that's in the description down below, you'll get it even cheaper. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here and click apply. And now our new total for Windows 10 Pro is about 15 bucks. Now I have the option to go ahead and view the keys right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Then I'll click on get the key. And then I'm going to come over here and right there you can change the product key. So go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go ahead and change the product key right here. So I've entered my key and I'll click next. Then I'll click on activate. And here we can see that Windows is activated. Next, what we want to do is go ahead and validate the key installation. And right there, you can see the Windows 10 Professional Edition is permanently activated. So head on over to yourcdkey.com to get your next Windows 10 Pro key at ridiculously low prices. So here we are on my desktop and we can see that I have uh, two instances running. I've got one uh, running at 1.27 and one at 1.2680 uh, on port 85. Now, um, because this is going to come up later, I'm going to be using uh, this 1.26 on port 85 as my primary server uh, that we're going to need to know that just kind of in, in advance to know which server we're going to be working with and which is primary and which is secondary. So uh, again, for the sake of this video, uh, 1.26 on port 85 will be our primary server. Of course, you'll want to pick and choose which one you want your primary to server to be on your network. So here is Portainer, and hopefully by this point you know what Portainer is. Uh, if you're not familiar with Portainer, as it's come to my attention uh, by people who have joined my video series late, uh, definitely check out the first couple of videos in the playlist that this video is in. I'll try to have, have that linked in the description down below uh, to learn how to install Portainer and do that sort of thing. But if you're familiar with Portainer, uh, what we want to do is actually come over to here and go to Stacks. Then we're going to create a new stack, and I'm just going to call this AdGuard uh, Sync. Oops, sync like so. And then I've got a, uh, a stack down here in a different window that I will, of course, make available in uh, the description as well. So definitely go down there to get the information for this. So, so basically what we've got here is a version 2.1. We're going to run AdGuard Home Sync. Uh, here is the image that's being used. I will have a link uh, also to, uh, to this GitHub page where I found all this information. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're actually going to have a run command in there. And so for our environment, if you take a look here, I'm actually going to break this down just a little bit so it's easier to read. And I'll go back and fix it uh, once we're done. So uh, basically we're going to have an origin URL. Now, again, that's going to be your primary server, your origin and primary. They're, they're the same thing. Your replica URL will be your secondary uh, server or, or Docker container. Um, and then if you had multiples, you could actually go so far as to um, do, you know, like replica one, replica two, replica three. I don't know how far they've actually gone with this, but I wanted to show this uh, just so that you would know that if you've got more than two set up, you can continue to add more Docker containers or more AdGuard instances to this stack uh, for however many AdGuard home instances you have. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually delete uh, some of these extra lines here, like so. So basically, like it says here, your origin URL is going to be um, whatever the URL is you get you use to get to your AdGuard Home dashboard. Your username and password will be just that. It'll be your username and password. Now, here's the thing. Uh, if we actually come over to here, um, I believe that there is a way in here. Yeah, you can actually set up um, a like an environmental variable uh, file for this if you wanted to put all of your credentials in an environmental variable file. You can absolutely do that. But for the sake of this video, I just want to keep it simple. Uh, and we're going to have our username and password just listed in plain text in this stack. 
Um, and so we're going to use our, our uh, origin URL. That's going to be our primary, our username, our password. And then for our secondary or our replica URL, again, same thing. We're going to have that uh, set up here for the US URL, username, and password. Now, there's another a couple of lines here. Uh, cron, I've got this running every one minute because sometimes you need to turn off uh, AdGuard to get somewhere and you don't want to wait the, what it, the, the default amount, which was 30 minutes. Uh, that's just kind of a waste of time. So I've taken this down to one minute. So every one minute, it'll run this cron job to synchronize the two. Auto start is true, or sorry, run on start is true. Poor 8080 here, I'm going to change. Um, to just that, that's just some numbers I reached out, typed. Uh, so just know that you can modify port 8080 to be something else by changing the first set uh, or the first per port number on uh, that line and then reset or restart unless stopped. And then below that, of course, I've got some nodes here uh, that you'll want to delete. So basically that's it. We're all set up and ready to go. Uh, once we're happy with that information, we can just scroll down and click on deploy the stack. Now, when we do that, of course, we'll want to give it a couple of minutes to uh, pull everything that it needs to pull and, and run in the background to get everything set up. So uh, once we've done that, um, then we can actually start uh, noticing uh, when things are synchronizing. So uh, let's go ahead and click on go and uh, then we'll jump over and start doing some testing. Okay, so our container has deployed. And if we come into here, we can see that Agar Home Sync is running. We can actually see that that was uh, just uh, published just a moment ago. Uh, I don't actually believe there's anything there other than it just says Agar Home Sync is running. So that's all we needed those ports for, not a big deal. Okay, so here we are, we're looking at our logs and we can see that uh, we've got uh, some information here. Uh, for instance, we're starting the sync uh, from our 1.26 port 85 to 1.27. And then the line below that says, hey, these versions don't match. Um, as long as they're pretty close, it should be fine. Shouldn't be an issue here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna pop, I'm gonna minimize this screen and I'm just gonna refresh both of these so that we can see that they're both uh, the same. What I am gonna do is come down here to uh, this 1.26 port 85 and click on disable protection. Now this is off. Um, so what we want to do next is actually come back over to here and see when this is going to, or when this ran last. Uh, so actually just right there, it just ran, I believe. So if we come back over and click refresh, now that one is off as well. Um, so let's, let's make some more changes here. Let's go over here to uh, filters, DNS block lists, um, and let's turn off uh, two of these randomly. I just picked a couple of options there. If we come over here to our block lists, we can see that uh, Peter Lowe's list uh, is active and uh, the no coin list is also active. Uh, so we'll go ahead and let uh, this synchronize again. This was done uh, just a moment ago. So we'll give this another moment uh, to do this. Of course, it only runs once per minute. Okay, so here it says uh, it did a start sync. It updated filters uh, on this host, on, on this 1.27, and we can actually see which two were, uh, were disabled. So let's go back uh, over here and refresh 1.27. And here we can see Peter Lowe's list, no coin filter, those have both been disabled. So this is kind of a simple demonstration on how this works. Uh, of course, I could go into a lot more detail of adding more filters and that sort of thing, but I think you get the point in that uh, with this Ad Guard Home Sync uh, Docker container, you can uh, manage multiple containers by just managing one and then letting it synch synchronize across your network. So. Uh, just a quick, simple uh, project today uh, to help streamline what you've got going on on your network. So if you found the video helpful, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up, really would help me out quite a bit. Uh, also, I wanna give a big shout out to my uh, channel members, my patrons, thank you guys for your continued support. I really do appreciate you guys doing that. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, but I think with all of that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.